distributive property. The distributive property says that when we multiply something in brackets like this, whether it's subtraction or addition, what happens is, okay, let me show you what happens here. We can evaluate this as follows. We can evaluate the five minus two and get three. And then we can multiply the four by three and we get 12. And that's fine. That's the normal way we would do it. The distributive property says that instead, instead of evaluating this first, we can do something different. We can let the four jump over and hit the five and hit that negative two and become 20. It multiplies each one, they become 20 minus eight, then subtract these guys and we still get the same answer of 12. And so that's all it's doing. It's, uh, it's having us carry out the distributive property. So what happens is the four jumps and multiplies each of these numbers individually. So what goes here? Just a four.